welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karina Control. That's right, we're trying out this old favorite. We're going to try uh, try it out, see how it goes. Um, it's a donation deck submitted by a viewer, and they were kind of saying that uh, this could be a good option in the metagame right now with um, Karma Ezreal ticking up. Um, maybe this could be something that you could kind of play and just kind of you know, dodge their removal and have your heavy haymakers like Commander Ledros, Karina Veraza, um, that, that that's difficult for them to deal with. And you can end the games quickly, especially with like Ledros, Atrocity, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's let's go back. Let's try this old favorite. Let's see how it looks in the current metagame. Karina Control. All right, we're going to go play five games over in Ranked and see how we do. Um... Hey, new loco. And, uh, yeah, try out Karina Control. It's been a long time since I've played this deck. It'll be interesting, you know, to really see how it's doing. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. We're going to keep all three of these units. We're playing against a Noxus aggro deck. Um, presumably, this is Noxus aggro splashing for all your. Right. Have to click the end turn button first. Oh, wait. I just drew a lease. I was just so fast in doing that. Um, looks like it did. It looks like it worked out just fine, because I wouldn't want to attack Elise into Legion Grenadier anyway. So, looks like it worked out just fine, even if that wasn't the best play. This vibe's gonna be pretty big. I like it. I wonder if I should have attacked with half this aristocrat. Um, hmm. I can kill all of these, but I'm going to take a ton of damage doing it. I can kill everything. gonna cost me a lot of life. Take a lot of damage. I guess my plan's not too great against transfusion. I 
if they have that card. I hope not. Um, obviously they do. I did Withering Will afterwards, which I'm glad I did, because Transfusion would have dealt more damage to me also, but then I, you know, gaining, I was at 20, so gaining the 3 life first, um, doesn't really help. In the shadows. We could use the bite. Wish it was something that didn't have four health. Man, I forgot Cato got buffed also. Man, every single Noxus card just gets buffed, doesn't it? That got you know, that used to be a five three. Um No, I didn't want a Mystic before I attack, so I, I want them to have to block with those things. When they play another thing pre-combat here and we'd be able to Ruination. That's what I was hoping. Glimpse beyond right before that. I'll try anyone you want. I can't really play. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. Man, like, what am I supposed to do with this ruination? Like, I can't. Oh, am I gonna just play? Nothing is good. No lines are good. I mean, the like, okay, sh so like, let's say I play Vi, and like that's my line, and then I'm gonna have to ruination, and then what what do we have after that? We have nothing. Um, I'm doing this my way. I mean, I. The problem is, is Ruination's not a winning line. If I Ruination first. At least next turn... Your command, General Darius. 
I mean, I, I have to do this just so I can try to find something to survive if they just go straight to attacks. Right now, I don't really have that. That was the problem with playing Vi. They play, you know, something like Darius that I have to, whoops. That I have to challenge. And all those things being four health is rough. I need that gotcha to kill that Kato. Cause yeah, if I, if I don't play Vi, they just open attack. Um, if I play, you know, if I play Ruination, then they just play Darius afterwards and then open attack. I, there was not a there was nothing that I could have done that would have been a good line. Right. If I just play Ruination, they go Darius. As it turned out, withdrawing the atrocity. If I would have challenged, like, you know, like, Crimson Disciple and kept Vi alive, then I could have, um, you know, atrocityed and sacrificed the Vi and killed the Darius. That's the only way that that line would have been better if I would have known that I was drawing atrocity, but obviously I didn't know that at the time. But uh, maybe I should have just done the whole Glimpse Beyond stuff before challenging. Like, I didn't need to challenge right away. I could have done the Glimpse Beyond stuff first. Um. Lady Elise, where are you? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not one that likes hapless aristocrat at all, but I don't, I, I can't pretend like I'm an expert on this deck, so I'm certainly not. I don't want to, I don't want to say that this needs to be changed and things like that. Um, I don't know. And I'm I'm kind of open to anything, you know. Like I'm not sure. The reason, like, with me keeping the Glimpse Beyond, you know, like that, I was hoping to draw the more cards, and, and obviously Vile Feast is that that's the the one card that really hurts. I was hoping that they would be mulliganing away Vile Feast and not have a Vile Feast These against... Will be um, ...against Karina Control. But that's not how it always works. I think I, I agree, Kamikaze. I think that my line the last turn should not have been. Um, should not have been lead with attacking with Vi. It should have been lead with doing the other stuff, seeing what I draw, and then make my decision with Vi. I don't. I don't particularly like Static Shock either. Um, 
you know, Static Shock, Hapless Aristocrat. I think that's this is the problem with Karina Control, is that um, these one damage things aren't very valuable, as we saw there against Noxus. Like, the threats are much, much bigger than things that do one damage, like Hapless Aristocrat, Withering Whale, uh, Static Shock. It's, it's the reason why this deck has been struggling. That egg? Did it move? Is that one damage isn't positioned well right now. So even against Devourer, the Depths all have Mystic Shots, if like that's their plan. I... We also have the Thermogenic Beams as well. Those, those can do more damage. Possible that that was just completely unnecessary. We will kind of see. I like cutting their life total in half first before playing Karina Veraza. But I suppose that's the problem with going with Legos first. Queen of Raza, maybe we clean up that Nautilus. Corruption everywhere. Probably play second gotcha over third grasp. Gotcha just having the ability to cost less mana. This deck has such a high curve. How do I stop Atrocity from killing me? So I can't really think of any way. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's Vi. Sanctuary tank! No, thank you. So I guess it means I have to play Vi and not Karina Veraza. Put him down to two. I think Sanctuary Tank, that's our third sub of the day. This doesn't do any more damage doing, you know, playing the Atrocity first and the Mystic Shot. It's still. 
still the same, like, the buy leveled up twice. They're like, you know, got the two bonuses. cast i mean like that's yeah that's a play like it the vibe was a three four whenever i played it i played those two and it went to a five four um yeah i mean i guess i have to play karina veraza now i can't stop an atrocity this could be them gaining the two life if we hit four that's kind of the awkward thing yeah We were one win away from Masters, and now we've lost six in a row. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get back there. Um, I think, you know, obviously hindsight. I, I liked my play at the time, but obviously hindsight. I wish I would have played Karina first instead of Ledros first. No, that would have really helped. That was a may maybe not. Maybe that just went, maybe that wouldn't have helped. Um, definitely like like they. This is another deck that has like just a whole bunch of things. Like I just don't see one one damage killing anything. So we're gonna get rid of the static shock. Um, anything of importance, like can kill Omen Hawk. Um, or, like the Ice Veil Archer, but. Uh, I guess I'll have the glimpse beyond to sacrifice a spider. We, yeah, we need we need my opponent to not have Trifarian Assessor and draw lots of cards with Trifarian Assessor. Come closer. That's the most important thing: is opponent Fight. not have Trifarian Assessor. There's a lot of things that's kind of hard to beat, like Avros and Hearthguard makes everything really difficult to kill. Um, there's a lot of bad stuff for us. That's that's a bad decision to play Cato over ever as an Hearth Garden. What did we catch? I don't want a thermogenic beam and then like elixir of iron happens, but I guess if, you know, th if that happens, then I could block with a lease. Um, I kind of feel like just drawing more cards. No, I don't think Yeti will be nerfed at all.
Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff in hand. It'll basically be, can we actually uh, cast things? You know, like, do we have... Uh, will, you know, will we be able to spend enough mana? Like, will we have the mana to be able to play things? Fury of the North randomly, too? We are so dead. Show me a target. With the Mystic Shot, we can at least handle Elixir of Iron. Yeah, Fury of the North is kind of good against every deck. It's a good card. Very efficient. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? That was a miracle. Oh, cool. That's cool. I'll be easy to beat. Except for not at all. I am I am very confident in saying Karina control is not good. I am I was not confident in saying anything about it before, but after just getting destroyed three games in a row, I don't think I could recommend this deck. We were close, I suppose, against the against the deep deck. I suppose we were close there. I don't think that the answer is add more removal. I just don't think that... I don't think the removal spells are good enough, I don't think. I don't think this kind of control deck is good enough. I think the threats are too good, too consistent, too varied. Um, this kind of control deck can't handle them. I'm not, uh, I'm not very confident that it's just a tuning issue. Like, I just, I think it's a, um, I think it's a balance issue with 
um, with these cards that, like these Noxus decks. I don't, I don't see, I don't see Shadow Isles and Piltover and Zon removal spells matching up against um, Noxus threats, especially with Harrowing being such a big deal, or in the uh, the previous Noxus deck they were just playing against, you know, Trifarian Assessor, Hearthguard, Sejuani. I just, I just don't. I don't see. Um, I don't see really how it can line up where you can win um, with any kind of consistency. Yeah, this our deck's gotten nerfed too much, and their deck's gotten buffed too much. Before both of those things happened, it was a different story, but right now, like, obviously it's not like 0%. You can, you can certainly win games, but I just don't, I don't see how it would be a, a winning battle. Okay, meme tier deck idea, Chief Mechanist Zevi. Hey buddy, what you doing? And Yetis. Okay. Chief Mechanist Zevi and Yetis. I'm not sure exactly how it would work. I'll write it down for a meme tier idea. Right on. Yeah, I'm not sure how that will work, but um, yeah, I'll think about that one. Yeah, you get like extra one mana yetis. That could be kind of cool. I need two more mana. Need to cast Vile Feast on, on this Ballista and Mystic Shant on the Rider. That'd be after I block with the Spiderling. It's just these any any pump spell we're just dead on the spot you know fury of the north transfusion like these pump spells like we just it's a problem like one damage just doesn't like doesn't kill things it's just how it is Opponent, you're going to be winning this. You don't need to go for any page. I think you're just fine. I think you're doing just fine. So challenging, you could think, oh, well, you could challenge the Iron Ballista and then you're, 
Uh, your Vi would stay alive. It'd have one health. That's not the case. They have Spinning Axe. I'm going to get rid of the thing that does a lot more damage. How, like what, like how would more remove, like see like more removal wouldn't, wouldn't help. I don't, I don't think there are tweaks. I don't think, I just don't think this is a winning deck. We're going to play one more game, but I don't think there's any tweaks that can make that Noxus matchup close to 50-50. Um, which, you know, like, yeah, like, there, there was definitely a time, I mean, this is, you know, it's just, it's kind of the same of, like, spider aggro, you know, like, we played spider aggro the other day, and, uh, lost with that, too. There was a time where this was better, it's just, it's gotten a lot of nerfs, the metagame's gotten a lot better, there's been a lot of buffs other places, there's been new cards, um, this doesn't really have new cards, and, um, you know, it's... It's just the metagame just passes by. You know, like, the the decks are too good for Karina control. It had its day in the sun. I've got your back. And it did well for a little while. But, um... their spirits and their swords <clears throat> but uh one damage is not cutting it all right let's miss some folks up uh... I mean, the box would help. I mean, it would help. I mean, it would help more than than these one damage things. But um, they're playing Garen, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't think that really solves issues, though, playing the box. Not when the most important card to try to defeat is a 4-mana 6-4 Overwhelm. There's no there's no cards there in PNZ and Shadow Isles that can effectively deal with that. At least efficiently deal with that. Like you have Vengeance and that's it.
So we can double spell. Um, I think I like going with Grass here and a Static Shock. No, let's see. So I don't really want to use two of the gain threes when we're at 16. Yeah, I guess this is, this is good. I was going to say this is going to make... Like, maybe I should be doing the one damage to the Loyal Badger Bear. Like, it's going to make having Karina Varaza kill everything more difficult. But we also have the Withering Whale. We can clear that up, too. Discipline and steel. Who does not know the name Laurent? John, mine. All right, Karina. We named the deck after you. You got to be good. Each. Hapless Aristocrat, Vialis. My heart and sword for Demacia. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. It's risky going just Withering Whale Atrocity because um, if that doesn't work, we lose. Like if they just have like a barrier for Garen or something. Um, yeah, then we would lose. So it's a little risky going that line. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. Okay, well, if they missed there, then they have their Ionia card on top. And their I Ionia card's either Will of Ionia or Deny. I guess, it, I mean, well, they have Zed. It could hopefully be Zed. I was gonna say that both Will of Ionia and Deny can't can't really beat either of those. They will Hopefully it's Zed. Fear the sun. We need this time to hit four plus. No. Well, I mean, I guess we can try to block Garen. Wanted to thermogenic beam finish off Garen. That was the hope. We're of course going to be attacking if nothing really happens here. Play a Zed. Like, going to be attacking if they want to trade there. That's okay with me. Zed's a lot. Yeah, that's a big threat. Good. That Ionia card was a Zed. That levels up Garen and turns Garen into a 7-7. Seven, seven. They already were going to have the attack token at the beginning of the turn anyway.
Wow. Well. Stay resolute. Hmm. Again. Uh, yeah, atrocity doesn't save me, and glimpse beyond doesn't save me. Hmm. It's weird that playing that hapless aristocrat killed me with the last two cards both being the single combats that leveled up the Garen. If I don't play it, um, you know, then we'd be able to just you know, block here, this would still be a 6-6 and we'd have Atrocity to kill it. So you'd think the Hapless Aristocrat would be good, but it actually... Not our day today. Uh, I mean, tomorrow on, on, on my, whenever, whenever you want, yeah, just not, I don't do donation decks the same day normally, but any other day uh, is free. Or is, you know, is open. Um, no, that's not our first 05. We've, we've gone 05 before. Uh, in fact, I think, I've, I think I went 05 the last time I played this deck, honestly. Maybe 1-4. I, uh, you know, we had a donation deck for this like a, a month ago or so. Maybe, maybe a month and a half, and it was just the same thing. It's just... Um, you know, and I'm I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to be too negative about a deck, especially a donation deck. I just don't think that I would recommend anybody to play this deck. Um, and for like the reasons that we talked about, um, I guess if if you didn't watch like you know the middle of the game, if you just kind of go into the end, uh, basically the uh, the removal spells that we have don't line up against the threats. The threats are much better. Um, Withering Whale, Static Shock, these just don't kill anything. Vile Feast, these these cards, one damage doesn't doesn't kill anything relevant, and it doesn't. It's much too expensive mana wise, um, and uh, the threats threats are too resilient. And um, yeah, I just can't. Uh, uh, the the person that donated it did did say that like the the reason why that they were playing this deck is because of the uptick in Karma Ezreal. We did not play against Karma Ezreal. Um, I, I'm not sure if maybe the Karma Ezreal matchup's good. Maybe. I think that you're going to be really bad against every single Noxus deck, and every single Noxus deck is the most important thing to try to beat right now. They're, they're, there's a lot of different Noxus decks running around. They're all good. They all have good win rates. I think that you're going to have a very, very poor win rate against every Noxus deck with this. Um because you're you're just a reactive deck with reaction that's much much behind the threats and that's that's a terrible place to be at least if you have like threats that are behind the reaction at least that you can you know you can maybe squeak out some games like where your threats uh can get ahead and stuff like that when your reactions behind like when your reactions worse than the threats you kind of have no chance um okay all right, um, yeah, so there we go. So there's there's Karina Control. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hope you uh, learn some stuff. Uh, that's always good, you know, it's always good. I hope you, know, hope you, um, you know, got to learn things from the video and have some good takeaways. All right, but that's it here for Karina Control. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.